West Virginia football with your host, Woody O'Hara. Brought to you by Budweiser. Beachwood aged for that clean, crisp taste. This Bud's for you. By Magnet Bank. The right bank in the right place at the right time. And by Flat Top Insurance Agency. America's energy agency. Mr. B Potato Chips believes in the ideals and values athletics provide as a part of higher education. West Virginia University Athletics gives young men and women the opportunity to meet special challenges and to achieve a higher level of excellence. Mr. B Potato Chips is committed to their support and is dedicated to helping these young people achieve their special goals. Mr. B Potato Chips and WVU Athletics, proud to be a part of the Mountain State. Bory Incorporated celebrates 75 years in downtown Wheeling with our biggest savings spectacular ever. Register to win over $3,000 in prizes to be given away, including a TV, VCR, washer, dryer, and more. No purchase necessary. Save on Frigidaire washers, dryers, refrigerators, ranges, microwaves, and freezers. Receive free 10 half gallons of Ziegenfelder's premium ice cream with any purchase of a new refrigerator or freezer. Come celebrate with us at Bory Incorporated TV Stereo and Appliance Center during our 75th anniversary. Open Sunday noon to 5, Monday and Friday till 9. Hello again, everyone, and welcome to West Virginia football. There's a snag in the schedule. It's called a built-in open date. And as you probably know, West Virginia has no game this weekend. For the sake of Mountaineer fans who'd like to argue the point, the two and three Mountaineers could just as well, for ten points, be four and one. Don Nealon's eighth edition of Mountaineer football opened the season with a close-to-the-vest 23-3 triumph over Ohio U. Tailback Andrew Johnson led all with 80 yards rushing as West Virginia topped the Bobcats by 230 yards in total offense. Freshman quarterback Major Harris capped an early second quarter drive with a 40-yard strike to Harvey Smith. First-time Mountaineer A.B. Brown had a good start with 70 yards on the day, including this nine-yard scoring effort. West Virginia's defense sparkled in the debut, allowing Ohio U just 131 yards total offense on the day. Game two matched West Virginia and Ohio State for the first time since 1903 at a jam-packed Ohio Stadium. The Mountaineers experienced a nightmarish start as the Buckeyes turned WVU turnovers into a 17-0 first quarter. From that point on, the Mountaineer defense played like national champions, holding the Bucks scoreless the rest of the rainy afternoon. The game's final touchdown was scored on an offensive turnover via a pass interception. West Virginia fired out of the locker room for the second half to force a fumble on the kickoff. Andre Johnson rambled for 16 big yards, and Charlie Bauman provided the only gold and blue points with a 27-yard field goal. It was a 24-3 loss, but a step on the road to respectability. Game three saw West Virginia storm onto the field at Maryland and stun the locals with two quick scores. The first came right at the top as Eugene Napoleon raced 94 yards with the opening kickoff to put the Mountaineers up 7-0. On Maryland's first play from scrimmage, linebacker Robert Pickett snared Dan Henning's pass at the 26, and just like that, it was 14-0 with just 30 seconds gone. The old turnover bugaboo returned, and the host Terrapins trailed by 14-10 at the half. West Virginia's defense continued to carry the load with a number of sparkling plays, but it was not quite enough in this seesaw battle. West Virginia grabbed a 20-19 fourth quarter lead on an A.B. Brown touchdown. But three minutes later, Maryland scored on their way to a 25-20 win. West Virginia was 1-2 and, and headed home. The annual backyard brawl with Pittsburgh treated a record-breaking crowd to a real cliffhanger. Although low scoring, it was a game that contained everything. Defense again dominated the day as these two old rivals battled to a 3-3 standoff in the first half. West Virginia's three-pointer was set up by a 30-yard hookup between Major Harris and Harvey Smith. Then four minutes into the second quarter, Charlie Bauman hit from 28 yards out. The defensive struggle continued in the scoreless third quarter. Eugene Napoleon showed some flash with this effort in a non-scoring drive. It all boiled down to a late mistake, a loose football, and a field goal. 
Pitt had registered a 6-3 win. And against some tough competition, West Virginia was now 1-3. Last week, the Mountaineers provided the explosive complete game that had thus far eluded them in the home clash against East Carolina, the same Pirates who fell just six seconds short of an upset last year. Eugene Napoleon was in good form early in this one before being injured in the second quarter. Major Harris threw 31 yards to a wide-open Calvin Phillips. Free safety Bo Orlando teamed with Theron Ellis to provide the first big defensive play on an 84-yard return for a touchdown. Ellis and Brad Hunt stopped the Pirates again. And Harris led a diving Harvey Smith for six more. Andre Johnson scored twice in the second half, this one on sheer determination. Hunt continued to play in the Pirate backfield as West Virginia went on to post a very satisfying 49 to nothing shutout. And the second half of the 87 season looms dead ahead. There's a large, diversified insurance organization offering all lines of insurance coverage through 25 of the largest insurance companies in the nation. With over 90 years of experience, testimony in time to the strength of the companies it represents. That agency is Flat Top Insurance Agency. Flat Top Insurance is America's energy agency. Now you can live for today and earn for tomorrow. When you open or renew a Magnet Bank Certificate of Deposit, you get both a competitive rate and a valuable gift, like these from RCA, Apple, Fisher, Ben Hogan, even Chevrolet. And while you enjoy great gifts like these today, your Magnet CD will earn a competitive rate of interest for tomorrow. Stop by any Magnet branch for details. Magnet, the right bank in the right place at the right time. We love watching Wheel of Fortune, but you know what's better than watching? Playing Wheel. And winning cash instantly at Big Bear and Hearts. Pizza is everybody's favorite, especially Tombstone Pizza. Just $2.99 for pizza made the way you'd make your very own. Or new French accent croissant sandwiches with 144 delicate layers and grade double-A butter, $1.99. Only the Green Giant could create new vegetable side dishes with Green Giant Garden Gourmet. Two for $3. Pick up a game card and play Wheel of Fortune only on this station. And only at Big Bear and Hearts. Are we almost there? I'm checking on traffic conditions. Send for good, buddy. No kidding. I'm worried about the van man. I thought he'd be around by now. The van man at your service, ladies. Wow! You like this little beauty, huh? It's great. It's like having a little house on wheels. Nothing like a little nap. Right, girls? Step up to a conversion van at Marhefka Chevrolet Buick in Bel Air. It's like Disney World on wheels. The Mountaineer Marching Band is a very unique and diverse group of individuals. Of its 300-plus membership, only about one-third are music majors. The rest represent all of the colleges in the university. On this week's halftime, Tony Caridi takes us inside the pride of West Virginia. 100 yards of asphalt, complete with all the trimmings of a regular football field. You know this just might be the world's greatest touch football facility, but actually it's a whole lot more than that. This is the practice field for the pride of West Virginia, the university's marching band. And this is the facility that Don Wilcox uses to mesh more than 200 individuals into one unit so that come Saturday, they're ready to strut their stuff. But there's work to be done before any strutting is allowed. They practice each note, each step hundreds of times before you see it. The biggest challenge Don Wilcox faces is to get all of his soldiers to march as one army. The diversity in the group is one of its strong points and also one of its biggest problems. There's a very wide range of difference in ability level. We have some kids that play at an almost professional level, some that can barely play. And we have some that are very highly motivated, some that are there kind of because they've heard the band's a lot of fun. And to try to mold all this into one cohesive group is, is really the hard part. He's the field general out here, always motivating the troops and adjusting the rank. He does it because he knows better than anyone else how sweet victory can taste. It's very gratifying to be able to watch the group when it does something well and put them out on the field in front of 50,000 people and see people react to them and think, you know, those are my kids. I taught them what they know and they're good at it. And it's, it's a real rush. 
The family ties here go a little bit deeper. Wilcox has two of his own children in the band. His son, Lee, is a trumpet player, and Linnell, a flag member, who reluctantly serves as the ambassador to the general. Now I'm used to it. You always get the people who come up and say, oh, well, this is a direct link to Mr. Wilcox. Well, well now, we really don't like this part of the show. Can't you just get your dad to change it? Or I really rather march in his rank. Can't you get him to change it a little bit? And it doesn't usually work real <laughs> effectively that way. Spoken like a true diplomat, which isn't surprising. Linnell spent two years in Sweden on a Rotary scholarship and gained a different outlook on American life. A lot wider perspective on the world, life in general. I'm an international studies major, so it makes a big difference in how I see things. We get the university majors here, they get American teachers with American ideas, American books, and I've got a Swedish perspective now which helps some I mean Swedish definitely leans towards the West but it still helps more it's more objective and speaking of objectives Linnell's father Don has a concrete philosophy nothing worthwhile comes easy only hard work brings success an adage that has brought West Virginia University's marching band into national prominence Thank you. Thank you. I think we have a, a kind of a tendency in our society right now to live live in an era of fast food, condensed books, you know, whatever, what's the quick and easy way of doing anything. And I think there's a real tragic loss in our present generation of losing sight of doing things right, the hard way, and paying the dues, and, you know, getting the results in the long term, not immediately. And uh, the band kind of works that way. It doesn't look like much or sound like much the first couple of days. It takes hours to make that group work. And it's kind of a small shot of you know, read the whole book. Don't read the Reader's Digest version of it. You know, pay the price and do something right. Take it from the general. He's been doing it right for nearly two decades. For West Virginia Football, I'm Tony Caridi. The Pride is coming your way with a pair of special concerts on November 16th at the Charleston Civic Center and on November 17th back here in Morgantown at the Creative Arts Center. Well, for those of you who might not have been at the stadium last week for the ball game, let's go back to halftime of the East Carolina game with the pride of West Virginia.
signature of the Big Band Air returns with this James Milkenberger arrangement, combining favorite selections such as Leapfrog, In the Mood in April in Paris, into one exciting chart called Big Band Bash. Any. He's just a kid. So was I. You worked long and hard to get there. When the time comes, you hope you're ready. You make America work. This bus for you. Here's to you. Reach with age for that clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. This bus for you. You know, I've always felt that Caterpillar equipment is the best. And to keep it that way, you should use genuine cat parts and service from Beckwith Machinery. And now, through January 31st, get $500 off any flat-rate, complete Caterpillar engine rebuild. Take it from me and stay with the winning team. Genuine cat parts and service from Beckwith Machinery Company. Beckwith Machinery and Caterpillar, an investment in your future. Come to the Fall Festival at Values at Reichard Furniture. Hey, it's Reichard's Oktoberfest. Save on furniture, carpet, and waterbeds and receive a color TV or VCR. Save 55% on a large selection of solid wood waterbeds. Your choice of finish and size, complete from pillowcase to pedestal and professionally installed in your home. Buy now at Reichard's and get a high quality remote control VCR for just $99. Everyone wins at Reichard's. Charge it and save 55% and get your choice of a color TV or VCR now at Reichard's Oktoberfest. Last chance. Monday is your last chance to get a free VCR or color TV at Rikert's Oktoberfest final 12-hour sale. Monday at Rikert's, you will save 20 to 70% storewide on the Valley's best selection of furniture, carpet, and appliances. Shop Rikert's 12-hour sale Monday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. at Wheeling, Steubenville, and St. Clairsville. Use your good credit, check, or cash, and take home beautiful home furnishings and a free VCR or color TV. Don't miss Rikert's Oktoberfest final 12-hour sale Monday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. I hesitate to call this next segment a fall rerun, better yet, backed by popular demand, as Tony Caridi and Alan Hercules give us a look and a listen at the radio side of MSN, the Mountaineer Sports Network. For loyal Mountaineer fans who can't make it to the game, this is the answer, the radio distribution center for the Mountaineer Sports Network. And while it may not look as exciting as what's going on back at the field, it's just as important. Although it's Fleming and O'Hara's voices you hear, come broadcast time, the booth is full. Each person serving a vital role to the overall sound. Spotting the players from way up top, Paul Kidd, who's been assisting Fleming for over 30 years. To Jack's right, his daughter, Sandy Yakum, who points out who made the tackles. Standing behind the announcers, producer Dale Miller, who keeps the broadcast flowing, calling the commercial breaks and supplying pertinent information. And up top, controlling what you hear, the technical director, John McKinney. But the bottom line remains, MSN Radio is Jack West Fleming Virginia and Woody O'Hara. Here with the play-by-play -play call and all the action of tonight's ball game, the voice of the Mountaineers, Jack Fleming. This is a wired-in crowd tonight, absolutely beautiful. Penn State I think one the of the White things that's made MSN so successful in radio is uh, our voices. Uh, Jack Fleming, the voice of the Mountaineers for, for 34 years. Uh, Woody's been with the radio network about 15, 16 years, so that's been a key element. They get along great. They joke, they have fun on the air, and I think that comes across to the listeners and make them feel very comfortable listening to our broadcast. Stop the play. It is fourth down, and Massimo Maika is on the field. And, you know, I've heard a lot said about the fact that um, 
the certain announcers and certainly the Mountaineer Sports Network announcers have been accused of this more than anyone are homers, are with the home team all the way. And uh, we don't make any bones about that. We feel one thing is true about Mountaineer Sports Network Radio, and that is it's entertainment. We're not reporting on the game for the official record of all time. We're reporting on the game as fans of the game, as fans of the West Virginia Mountaineers. No, we're not impartial. We're very partial, and, uh, and it's entertainment, and that's what we try to achieve, entertainment. Baker misses from 32 yards out. How about that? Love you, Massimo. <laughs> I always sit in the radio booth for a football broadcast, and the one thing I never want to miss is that little 30-second tease that Jack does before the game goes on the air. And uh, all 78 radio stations are carrying that. And if you're sitting at home and you don't feel the excitement of a game, that you're either at Mountaineer Field or you're at Giant Stadium at Rutgers or whatever, if you don't feel part of Mountaineer football, then you don't bleed gold and blue. There's no question about that. Nighttime in Morgantown, West Virginia, on the campus of West Virginia University, Halloween weekend. And the goblin riding in on a broom is wearing a sport coat, a sweater, and a red tie. His graying hair is parted neatly on the left side. And topping off a prominent nose and a persistent frown is a pair of eyeglasses, the trademark of one of the nation's most successful football coaches, Joe Paterno. Joe is accompanied here by a frightening group of white-clad ghosts, the number two ranked and undefeated Nittany Lions of Penn State. A frightening scene, but Don Nealon's Mountaineers enjoy walking in where angels fear to tread. So tonight, in ideal autumn weather, they will meet the invaders. They will do battle as a prohibitive underdog, but they will play this game with the knowledge that anything can happen in football. On any given night, on any given field, it can happen, and they want it to happen tonight. The state of West Virginia is wired in on MSN for this effort, and it will be our pleasure to describe the action as these two old rivals get together. So light up your pumpkins, put on your scariest Halloween mask, and keep that radio close by as the hills of West Virginia resound with the sounds of Golden Blue football, and the West Virginia University Mountaineers are on the air. For West Virginia football, I'm Tony Carini. While the competition's prices are rising, the price of a new Plymouth Reliant is coming down. Introducing the 88 Plymouth Reliant America. We've added equipment, reduced the price, saving you $13.69. Plus, you get the $7.70 protection plan. Compare Reliant America at $69.95, and the competition is priced out of sight. Plymouth Reliant America. It's the best value in its class. See your Mountaineer Chrysler Plymouth dealer today. This bug's for all that you do. Hey, landscaper. Tomorrow, college student. Yep. Finally took your advice, Mike. You taught him. Already you're smart. Oh, you knew. They say he's a lot like you. Yeah, you make America work. And this bug's for you. Here's to you. Beachwood Age for that clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. To a future architect. And to a brother who made it possible. This bug's for you. U.S. Air, with flights to over 100 cities in North America. At U.S. Air, we welcome all of our passengers, one at a time. Well, for this part of the program, for obvious reasons, it's not into the locker room, but into the studio. And this fellow's smiling. I'll tell you what, we mentioned at the top of the show, Coach, that uh, West Virginia is probably 10 points away from being 4-1 and one right now. And you've been quoted as saying... You're probably having as much fun with this group of ball players as you've ever had. Well, it's funny, uh, Woody. I, uh, you know, I'm not real proud of our record, but I am proud of our team because, uh, you know, we started out last February and we asked about 15 kids to drop 20 to 30 pounds. They, uh, they all did so, and uh, during two a day, we had a great two a day practice. Uh, every game we've played, we've played uh, with great enthusiasm and great effort. And other than dropping the ball, I'm very, very pleased with this football team. I like them. They're fun to be around, and uh, we're anxious to continue to play. I'm glad to see the season sort of lightens up from here on out because, <laughs> you know, Boston Colleges and the uh, Penn States and the Syracuses, it's going to be tough from here on out. Well, there's no question, uh, Woody. I made the statement before the season that we would probably play six teams that are in the top 20, and probably we're going to play six teams that are in the top 20. There's no question about it. Uh, 
BC is capable of being a top 15 team. I think they're ranked somewhere around there now. Uh, Syracuse is going great guns, and uh, Penn State's just regular old Penn State, 48 straight years of winning. Looking back, if we could just briefly over the first half of the season, probably Maryland is the only game that really upset the apple cart because you might have planned to win that ball game, I believe, and uh, be right on schedule. Well, there's no question. Had we won that game, and we should have won it, Woody, uh, you know, we just turned the ball over so many times, and that daggone fumble going in at the eight-yard line just sealed our doom, so to speak. But uh, had we won that ball game, we would have been in great shape. Uh, but what are you going to do? You can't worry about it. Uh, Maryland against us was a very good football team. They played with great intensity, and they played with great emotion, but they haven't done that before our game, and they haven't done it since. The great thing about this squad, I think, is enthusiasm is still at a thousand percent. Our kids are good kids. I think we're getting great leadership. Brad Hunt's been sensational. Harvey's been great. Uh, the seniors have been real good. It's just, uh, you know, like I say, hopefully we can keep it going. Uh, you know, like I say, as a coach, I can't worry about the W's and the L's. It's just impossible. But if they play as hard as they've played, something good's going to happen. West Virginia, Cincinnati, next up. You be with us next time, and we'll tell you all about it right here on West Virginia Football.
beginning our show is an arrangement from the Spirit of Atlanta Drum and Bugle Corps Library. Jim Off has transcribed this familiar tune entitled Sweet Georgia Brown.
Alumni Association will begin the ceremonies by making a few presentations. Jim Aitchie, president of the Alumni Association, is escorted by Melody Wood. Joe Marconi, this year's Grand Marshal, 